Carving candles is an old German craft still practiced by artisans. It involves layering different colored waxes and then carving designs that expose those colors and the luminous core. It's hard to beat the radiant beauty of a carved candle, but we'll try not to wax poetic about it. Carved candles are known for their swirls and curls, a look so elaborate that lighting one is an occasion in itself. They start with vats of hot wax in various colors. The candle maker stirs them to circulate the specially formulated dyes. She dips a star-shaped wax core into clear wax and then yellow. The clear wax dilutes and lightens the yellow. She hardens the layers in cool water. She repeats this process between 30 and 35 times as she builds up layers of different colored waxes on the candle core. As the dipping continues, the candle becomes warmer and softer, which will allow it to be carved. The quick dips in water only cool the outer layers. Partway into the dipping, she deepens the grooves in the candle. She resumes dipping and keeps a close watch on the temperature of the water and the wax. If the candle absorbs too much heat, it will become too soft to carve. But if it's too cool, it becomes too rigid to carve. Achieving the right consistency is crucial. It's almost time to carve. But first, she squeezes the drippings together and then slices them off. These multicolored drippings are too attractive to waste, so she shapes them into a mushroom candle. She pokes a hole in the center for the wick. She has just 15 minutes to carve the main candle or it will be too hard to work with. She slivers the bottom and curls the pieces back. It effectively peels back the layers of color for an eye-catching display. She dunks the row of curls in water to harden them a bit so they don't sag. Here's a twist. She curls each row in the opposite direction to the one before. She carves a total of four rows and curls the last slivers up rather than down. Using a square-edged gouging tool, she cuts a windmill design into the upper section of the candle. Then she shapes the wax cutouts into a deck for the windmill. She carves tulips and other designs around the top. She works quickly and with a steady hand. It takes at least a year of training to learn to carve and shape these designs so quickly. This one is a neat trick. She jiggles a straight-bladed knife to cut the fluted edge of a hummingbird wing. One last character, and this carving job is complete. Now she presses a device that's a bit like a cookie cutter around the wick. This forms a well that will allow the candle to burn down the center instead of dripping down the sides, which would ruin the carving. She spins it in a hot pan to melt the bottom so that it's level. And while it's still hot, she presses the trademark sticker onto it. Finally, she dips it in an acrylic glaze. This seals everything to the candle and protects the finish. Once lit, the light from the clear core shines through the designs for real glowing beauty.